Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So today's video is going to be for you teen moms out there or soon to be teen moms. I am just going to be giving you guys some tips. I think it's just five tips. I wrote them down, one, two, three, four, five. Five tips for you guys. I hope this helps you guys out and if you want to hear more, then maybe I can make another video telling you guys some more. So the first one I am going to be telling you guys is to tell your parents, if, this is if you're pregnant, yeah, yeah. to tell your parents as soon as possible. Some of you girls may think that it's easier or better or something to tell them when you're farther along, but I honestly don't think that helps at all. I think it's easier to just tell your parents as soon as you find out. Especially if you live with your parents, your parents need to know if you're pregnant, you know? There's certain foods you can't eat, there's certain... <clears throat> There's certain places you can't go, so it's just better to tell your parents. Even apart from that, if you have like an understanding mom or a mom that's there for you and you know, then you need that person to talk to. And I know it helped me a lot talking to my mom when she was over, you know, the being mad, angry, furious part. Um, it really helped talking to her. Tell your parents as soon as you can. Also, um, if a lot of girls ask me how should I tell my parents if you have a sister and brother a close family friend that you really trust and can help you tell your parents like I did if you haven't seen my how I told my parents video go check it out go check it out um, but it's not because you're scared to tell them by yourself just because that extra support um, you know, talking to your parents with you is better, you know, it helps out and maybe it'll even um, stop them from like going crazy on me, you know. That is my first tip. My second tip is to listen to your parents. I know some of us can be really stubborn, um, I know I was. But in the end, your parents just want the best for you and more than likely their advice is true even though you might not want to accept it. Um, they're older, maybe they've gone through this, um, and their advice could really help you out. And I know, like I said, some of us are really stubborn and we don't want to listen to them. We don't want to take their advice, we just want to, you know? But try to, try to listen to them, try to talk to them and take their advice because, because usually parents always end up being right usually most of the time at least in my case i have i'm always like thinking back and i'm like wow my mom was so right about that like so yeah that is my second tip my third tip is to go into homeschooling honestly um i've mentioned in my past videos that i went into homeschooling around when i was eight months i remember it was like a month before I gave birth. Homeschooling actually helped me out so much. Especially when she was born, like that's not even a question. When she was born, I don't know what I would have done if I wasn't in homeschooling. Like I don't understand how girls can leave their kid. I'm not in a bad way, but I just don't understand how they can go to school like just gave birth and having a newborn baby at home. Like I don't understand how they can go to school, you know? Homeschooling helped me out so much. Um, if you want to go while you're pregnant, I mean, that helps a lot too. I know my feet were swollen. My legs and feet were so swollen. Even though I drink water, even though I didn't eat salt, my legs and feet were swollen from walking around all day at school. So I think that can really help you guys if um, that is your case or your back might be hurting. Every pregnancy is different. All of you guys they have different reasons to not want to be at school plus you're just so tired and you have a huge belly like why would you want to be walking around so um home i mean every homeschooling school is different mine was the same same diploma same everything you still have to do your community service hours like it's not like it's a ged or anything it's still a high school diploma but just in case ask around your town or something your homeschooling school Cool. So my fourth tip today is to just ignore all the people whether it's at school or like on Instagram or your family 
even if it's your family, and they're hating on you for being pregnant at a young age or having a kid at a young age, just ignore them. Because obviously we already know what we did wasn't the best, brightest idea. We don't need other people telling us besides our parents that what we did is wrong. We know, our parents already told us, we already got the lecture, we don't need other people telling us, you know. Their opinion should not matter. And at least for me, when I was at school and people would like look at me with my belly or I would hear people said this and that, honestly, I could care less because it's not their body, they're not having the baby, it's not their life. They shouldn't care and I really did not care. I was just like, whatever, like... I'm going to have my child, I'm going to have my baby, I'm going to get the heck out of here and all these people's opinions are going to mean nothing to me. So just don't pay attention to them guys, don't let it get to you because honestly their opinion does not matter at all. So my last tip for today would be if you're going to apply for help from the government for child care or a low income home, I would recommend to do it months before you're going to need it because I heard the waiting list are months and even years for some. I know, I think it's different for every program and every city. Child care, maybe not that long. Housing yeah, yeah. and low income housing, I know that can be a long, long yeah, yeah. time. I'm not positive, so just call whatever program you guys um, find or have heard of and call and ask for the time or wait limit or waiting whatever waiting time so call and see how long that how long it is so you can get on that list there is no shame in trying to get help from the government everyone needs it sometimes so don't be embarrassed just do whatever you have to do to support maintain your family healthy and safe and all that so those were my five tips. I hope it helped some of you guys out. Um, like I say in every single one of my teen mom and 16 and pregnant videos, I am in no way glorifying teen pregnancy. Like I've said a million times, teen, being a teen mom is so hard. So for all the people who comment saying, oh my gosh, you're glorifying teen pregnancy. No, I'm not doing that. So for all the soon-to-be teen moms, good luck. I wish you the best of luck with your baby and to all the teen moms. Keep doing what you're doing. One last thing I want to say. Hi. If you're thinking about dropping out of school or not finishing high school or not finishing college, just because you're going to have a child, yeah. please don't. It's the worst decision you can ever make. Finish high school. Get your diploma. Because it's just going to be harder for you later on trying to go back to school. So just finish school and... <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Boo! <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Say bye. 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 Bye.